mysteries, the wonders of your mighty love. My comfort, my shelter, tower of refuge, strength. Let In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You died, Jesus, but the source of life flowed out for souls in the ocean of mercy, opened up for the whole world. O fountain of life, immeasurable divine mercy, cover up the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which flowed out from the heart of Jesus. As a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which flowed out from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which flowed out from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Jesus, King of mercy, we trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men, and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father, he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen.
Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us in the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Jesus, King of Mercy, we trust in you. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion, inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. O greatly merciful God, infinite goodness, today all mankind calls out from the abyss of its misery to your mercy, to your compassion, O God, and it is with its mighty voice of misery that it cries out. Gracious God, do not reject the prayer of this earth's exile. O Lord, goodness beyond our understanding, who are acquainted with our misery through and through, and know that by our own power we cannot ascend to you, we implore you, anticipate us with your grace and keep on increasing your mercy in us that we may faithfully do your holy will all through our life and at death's hour. Let the omnipotence of your mercy shield us from the darts of our salvation's enemies, that we may with confidence as your children await your son's final coming, that they know to you alone and we expect to obtain everything promised us by Jesus in spite of all our wretchedness. For Jesus is our hope. Through his merciful heart, as through an open gate, we pass through to heaven. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Novena to our Mother of Perpetual Help, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, as children of our Blessed Mother, we are gathered before her miraculous picture to honor her and to pray for all our needs. Unworthy children that we are, let us first of all ask God's mercy and pardon. Merciful Father, you sent your divine Son to redeem us by his death and resurrection and to give us new life. By this, you make us your children to love one another in Christ. How many times in the past we have forgotten this sublime dignity? We, we have sinned against our brothers and sisters. We have offended you. Merciful Father, forgive us. Repenting sincerely of our sins, we ask your mercy. May we always live as your truly devoted children. Amen. Mary Immaculate, star of the morning, chosen before the creation began, destined to bring through the light of your dawning, conquest of Satan, and rescue to man. Bend from your throne at the voice of our crying. Look to this earth where your footsteps have trod. Stretch out your arms to us living and dying. Mary Immaculate, Mother of God, we sinners all know your sinless perfection. Fallen and weak, for God's mercy we plead. Grant us the shield of your mighty protection. May sure your aid by the depth of our need. Bend from your throne at the voice of our crying. Look to this earth where your footsteps have trod. Stretch out your arms to us living and dying. Mary Immaculate, Mother of God. Novena Prayer Dear Mother of Perpetual Help, from the cross Jesus gave you to us for our Mother. You are the kindest, the, the most loving of all mothers. Look tenderly on us, your children, as we now ask you to help us in all our needs, especially this one. Let us pause to recall our petitions. While you were on earth, 
Dear Mother, you willingly shared in the sufferings of your Son, strengthened by your faith and confidence in the fatherly love of God. You accepted the mysterious designs of His will. We, too, have our crosses and trials. Sometimes they almost crush us to the ground. Dearest Mother, share, share with us your abundant faith and confidence in God. Make us aware that God never ceases to love us, that He answers all our prayers in the way that is best for us. Strengthen our hearts to carry the cross in the footsteps of your divine Son. Help us to realize that he who shares the cross of Christ will certainly share his resurrection. Dearest Mother, as we worry about our own problems, let us not forget the needs of others. You always love others so much. Help us to do the same while praying for our own intentions and for the intentions of all here present at this novena, we earnestly ask you, our Mother, to help us comfort the sick and the dying, give hope to the poor and unemployed, heal the brokenhearted, tighten the burden of the oppressed, teach justice to their oppressors, and bring back to God all those who have offended Him. Dearest Mother, help us to avoid sin which separates us from our Heavenly Father and from one another. Full of trust in you, we place ourselves under the mantle of your maternal protection and confidently hope for your compassionate intercession. Amen. Prayer for the Home Mother of Perpetual Help we choose you as queen of our homes. We ask you to bless all our families with your tender motherly love. May the sacrament of marriage bind husbands and wives so closely together that they will always be faithful to each other and love one another as Christ loved his church. We ask you to bless all parents. May they love and cherish the children whom God has entrusted to them. May they always give them the example of a truly Christian life. Help them to bring up their children in the love and fear of God. Bless all children that they may love, honor, and obey their fathers and mothers. To your loving care, we especially entrust the youth of today. Give us all a sense of responsibility that we may do our part in making our home a haven of peace like your own home at Nazareth. We take you as our modern. Help us to grow daily in genuine love of God and neighbor, so that justice and peace may happily reign in the entire family of mankind. Amen. Petitions to our Mother of Perpetual Help Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Virgin conceived without sin, pray for us. Our Mother of Perpetual Help, pray for us. We sinners call to you. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may rejoice with you at Christ's victory over death. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may be filled with the Holy Spirit and become courageous witnesses of Christ's love for men. Loving Mother, pray for us, that we may be more and more like our Divine Lord as you were. Loving Mother, pray for us, that we may be meek and humble of heart like your Son, Jesus. Loving Mother, pray for us, that we may fear losing God's friendship forever by unrepented sin. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may seek Christ's mercy and forgiveness constantly in the sacrament of penance. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be aware of God speaking to us in the events of daily life. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may pray daily with love and trust, 
especially in moments of temptation. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may reverence our bodies as temples of the Holy Spirit. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may strive to be true Christian by our loving concern for others. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may proclaim the dignity of work by doing our own work conscientiously. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may forgive from our heart those who have wronged us. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may see the evil of seeking our own interest at the expense of others. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may work for the just distribution of these world's goods. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may share our talents with others for the good of the community. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may accept our responsibility in the community in the spirit of genuine service. Loving Mother, pray for us. That the Holy Spirit may guide and strengthen Pope Francis, the bishops, and the clergy. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be blessed with an increase of priestly and religious vocations. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may care and protect God's creation. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may defend the human dignity and sanctity of human life from conception to natural death. Loving Mother, pray for us that there will be genuine and lasting peace in the world. Loving Mother, pray for us, that we may bring the knowledge and love of Christ to those who do not know Him. Loving Mother, pray for us, that we may be aware of our dependence on God in the midst of human achievements. Loving Mother, pray for us, that we may be ready at death to enter the home of our Heavenly Father. Loving Mother, pray for us, that we may be comforted at, at the death of our dear ones by our hope in the risen Lord. Loving Mother, pray for us, that our departed brothers and sisters quickly share in your Son's resurrection. Loving Mother, Pray for us. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. Loving Mother, pray for us. Holy Mary, help us in our needs. Pray for all the people of God. May all experience your perpetual help. Lord, you gave us Mary to be our mother, ever ready to help us. Grant us the grace to have recourse to her in all our needs. Amen. Consecration Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of God and Mother of the Church, you are also our Mother of Perpetual Help, with hearts full of love for you. We consecrate ourselves to your Immaculate Heart so that we may be your devoted children. Obtain for us true sorrow of our sin for our sins and fidelity to the promises of our baptism. We consecrate our minds and hearts to you that we may always do the will of our Heavenly Father. We consecrate our lives to you that we may love God better and live not for ourselves but for Christ your Son, and that we may see him and serve him in others. By this humble act of consecration, dear Mother of Perpetual Help, we pledge to model our lives on you, the perfect Christian, so that consecrated to you in life and in death, we may belong to your divine Son for all eternity. Amen. 
Mother of Christ, Mother of Christ, what shall I ask of thee? I do not sigh for the wealth of earth, for the joys that fade and flee. The bliss untold which your arms enfold that rest sure upon your knee. Mother of Christ, Mother of Christ, I toss on a stormy Where I fain would be And Mother of Christ Mother of Christ This do I ask of thee When the voyage is o'er Always stand on the shore and show him at last to me. Thanksgiving Prayer Lord Jesus Christ, truly present in the most blessed Eucharist, we adore you. It has pleased the Father that in you all his fullness should dwell, and that through you he should reconcile all things to himself. Grant us the grace to be truly grateful for all that our Father has done for us. Grant that we may be truly sorry for our, for our sins and renew our lives. Through you, we thank the Eternal Father for the gift of life. He has created all the wonderful things of this world for us. May we learn to ask them well, so that through them we may grow in love for Him. Above all, we thank our Father for sending you to us as the greatest expression of His love to save us all creation by your death and resurrection. We thank you, Lord, for giving us your own mother to be our mother of perpetual help. May the countless favors we have received through her intercession and especially through the novena Inspire us with greater confidence in God's loving mercy and perpetual help. Grant that we may always do the holy will of God and persevere in His love. To the Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be honor, glory, and thanksgiving forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for the Sick Lord Jesus Christ, you bore our sufferings and carried our sorrows in order to show us clearly the value of human weakness and patience. Graciously hear our prayer for the sick, especially. Let us pause and remember our sick loved ones. Grant that they who are weighed down with pain and other affliction of illness may experience God's healing power and comfort. Restore them to health in body and soul so that they can continue to serve you and their brothers and sisters. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. 
Memorami. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection implored thy help, or sought thine intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee. O Virgin of Virgins, my mother, to thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petition, but in thy mercy, hear and answer me. Amen. Prayer for financial help to our La Lady of Perpetual Health. Realizing, dear Mother, that you are our perpetual help, not only in spiritual but also in temporal necessities, we ask you to help us in our present financial world. Because of unavoidable circumstances which have arisen in our lives, we are in great want and financial embarrassment. Since we are unable to meet our honest debts, we are not asking, dearest mother, of perpetual help for wealth if the possession of it is not in accordance with the will of God. We merely ask you for that assistance which will help us settle our present obligations. We believe, dear Mother of God, that you are extremely kind and generous to all your loving and devoted children. We plead with you, therefore, dear Mother, obtain for us the help we urgently need. We are trying so earnestly to solve our problem, but believe in your powerful intercession with our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son and our Redeemer. Amen. Prayer to Mary in time of temptation. Mary, my mother, your love for us could not be greater or more powerful. You are rich in love and your power brings us really. You want everyone to be saved. I beg you, therefore, protect me in temptation and strengthen me when I weaken. I struggle daily to be faithful to Jesus, your son. Help me, my mother, at every moment. But above all, take me by the hand when you see that I am weakening and about to fall. I will have to battle with temptation till the day I die. My lady, you are my hope, my refuge, my strength. Never let me lose the grace of God. In every temptation, I resolve to turn to you at once and pray. Mary, help me. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.